ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? My name is DJ A9ZT, this is T-Unit, and we're back with Who's Next, the Six Star Experiment. And today, uh, T-Unit messaged me and she said, man, I hear people talking about this Mayavia here, and uh, he might be good for Faction Boss. And so I said, let's do it. Let's check him out. So, T-Unit, uh, pick this one. I did so I picked a female this week. We did a little swap of Ruski. And uh yeah, he's got a little flippy skirt dealy here. Is it is it called a skirt? what's it called when uh when he wears that? Is, is it a skirt? It's not a kilt, right? So what do you call it? What's he wearing there? It's a little flippy dealy. But the lay is made of solid steel because it doesn't move or his hair. Anyways, he's got no uh he's got no gear. But he does have the Blood Brothers link and the Anoa'i Maivia Legacy link. And uh, he is the Purple Submission Coach. Excellent line of coaches. 50% more damage per turn and extra turn on purple subs. Uh, he's a must build to 9k for sure. If we look at the moves here, the clothesline is the 6 star move. And not really looking at using that at all. So just going to throw that out there. First move set. We got the Samoan Stump Puller. Why is it a stump puller? Is he going to rip his leg off? It's 8 charge. Green. Submission. Randomly place 14 submission gems to do 61,000 damage for 6 turns while sub gems are on the gem board. Remaining sub gems turn into row break gems. Then we got Corner Headbutt. 6 charge red. Deal 117,000 damage and choose 8 green gems to destroy. And the Samoan Drop. 10 charge green finisher. Deal 248,000 damage to choose a 1x7 area to swap to red gems. So basically, you're going to destroy green gems here. You're going to use a submission, drain their MP, uh, leave some row breaks on the board. Then you're going to hit a big damage finisher, try to clip them row breaks, build the board up, recycle, do it again. Whoo! That's a lot to talk about. So on the entourage, we got Sting, red MP. We got Chad Gable, green finishers do 150% more damage. We got Bruno San Martino for green subs do 50% more damage and last an extra turn. Shelton Benjamin, any color subs do 20% more damage per turn. So, our subs now doing 104,000 damage for 7 turns and the finishers doing 622,000. But we ain't done with that. We are not done with that. We're running takedown 2. Double sets of it, so we're going to have 80% move damage, plus 200% green move damage here. Uh, another 11% there, another 11% there. A lot of green move damage. And we got an all heart plate. So when we generate three or more sub gems, increase our green and purple gem damage by 100% for two turns. It's a lot. It's a lot. We got a lot of boosts going on here. And we're going to hit that Chump Hulk Hogan. I don't think it is. Well, it showed it there. That Hold he on. He was wearing the Santa gear right there. Nope, that's the Immortal Hulk. Because uh, he's got a Santa gear, and it's like the same model as Santa Hogan. Uh, so, yeah, I can see why you think that. It's confusing. It's a little confusing. Oh, but this I see, is, I see. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, Powerhouse I Hulk. There. Well, I just saw the but gear. that chump Hulk Hogan My is bad. about to get it. My Let's bad. see what we can do, Pete. Please don't cascade. Please don't cascade. Yes. Okay, we didn't want to look silly here in our video. It happens to me all the time. All right, so we're getting in with that stump polar. I call it something way different on my stream on Friday nights, but. Okay, so all hearts should be activated now. We do got three row break gems in a column there. That's going to be perfect. With all them buffs on there, our finisher's now dealing 1.3 million damage. Plus, we're going to choose a 1x7 to swap to red. That'll recycle to do it again. We're going to get three rows with that column. And 1.7 million damage. And we're doing more than 700,000 damage with the sub per cycle there. So... You would, as long as green gems keep falling on the board, you will always be able to recycle that and keep hitting. So 
That's pretty solid move set, and let's see what else we Okay, do. so we do got the OG uh, move set here with the two charge moves, and this will definitely do some damage. Uh, looking down here, the six star move, uh, seven charge purple, deal 120,000 damage, choose four purple gems and modify into X break gems. Yeah, you can put it in with something. It's not going to do any better than the two move sets that I'm going to show you in this video, so. We do have the two charge purple headlock counter deal 109,000 damage. Increase the damage of all your gems by 22% for two turns. Spine jab, two charge green deal 109,000 damage. Swap a two by two random area into purple gems. Two charge purple hip throw deal 109,000 damage. Increase your green MP by two. So you're just going to be spamming. It's going to be a spammy boy. Uh, Entourage, we got gold dust, green moves, 45% damage. Big show. Purple moves, 45% damage. We got Hall of Fame Trish. Purple moves, 20% damage. We got Showboat Lacey. Purple and green gems, 20% damage. We got double takedown two, so we got 80% move damage. We got 200% purple move damage. And we ain't even got to use a plate here. It's not really going to help. I suppose you could, I don't know, you could use something that's going to make X-Break gems or Blast gems, but higher chance to cascade there. So, with all the buffs that we put on with the trainers, coaches, strap, now these moves are dealing 476,000 apiece. So, we're going to do that, and it's going to buff our gem damage. That's 476,000 damage. We're going to keep count here. There's another 476,000. Increase our green MP by two. So now that's 900k, more than 900, like 950k damage right there. Then 249,000 damage. Swap a two by two random into purple. So we are over a milli there, like 1.1, 1.2 milli range. And then we're gonna hit the purple moves again. So that's another 950k. We'll be able to look at his health here before we hit the green move again. And be able to say he had 4.5 million. We've taken 2.5 million health from him already on turn one. And then we can hit this. So 2.75 million damage. Uh, somewhere up around three, over 3 million damage on turn one. That's pretty decent damage output. That's workable right there. I think the high chief gets overlooked think people overlook him i never see nobody talking about him but he could get it done he can get it done so i should build him maybe i mean it's for you specifically maybe yeah but like i, I don't want to generalize that like it not like everybody will you might have better options than him but you might not and as far as a legend technician goes Name me a better legend tech. I got nothing. Yeah, see? And uh, if we go to the chat and look, Baby Ice, mine's five-star silver, and I'm taking him to five-star silver and a half. You see what I mean? Like, some people know. <laughs> some people know. <laughs> that was an excellent comment. I had to read it. Oh, yeah, that new tech Brett forgot about him. And we didn't get to push the pin meter, so forget what I said. Peter Mivey is not good. He didn't push the pin meter all the way. He let Hogan get a turn. Uh, not as good as we thought, apparently. No, that's good. I mean, if you're doing 3 million damage turn one, that's that's serviceable. There's a lot of people that uh, aren't putting that down. That was a wasted move. He's got no health left. We just need a cascade. You see one? I don't see one. There. Got him. All right. Let me know what you thought about the high chief Peter Maya Via down in the comment section below. And let me know who you want to see right here on Who's Next, the Six Star Experiment. And until next time, y'all. Peace. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,